more power, cleaner power, and higher voltage. That's what I'm looking for for my trailer that continues to grow with a lot of things that are inside charging batteries, keeping coolers going, all the stuff we need for the day and all the stuff we actually want for the day, not just need. So this new power station, 1200 watts, is pretty stinking cool. It gives me a little bit higher voltage. I really like that. It gives me a lot of power, but let's go through this guy top to bottom, show you what it'll do, and I'm gonna do some testing myself just to make sure that it's what we're thinking it is. Stay tuned. I want to start out with the back of this Vigorpool Captain 1200 because it's different than a few others. It has a parallel port back here that we can connect this up to multiple different Captain 1200s and put them together to get more power or more battery life. We have four outlets back here and we have 20 amp ones. That's pretty amazing. I think that's good. It'll be interesting to see. I don't really need that portion, but I do like how this turns on and off. Simple. It's one of those things I'm used to pushing and holding more, and I don't have to with this. These switches and buttons feel awesome. Let's go around to the front and we'll talk more about it. So this is a lithium iron phosphate battery system, 1200 watt hour. So pretty decent system that we have here, putting out 117.9 volts and we're doing 59.93 Hertz. That voltage is up about eight volts compared to what we're used to, but we are plugged in and charging. So if we unplug here, we actually go up to 120, which is pretty nice. I like the fact that we can get similar power to what we would get from our outlets through this unit. I'm gonna plug back in here and we can look at our LED screen. It's telling us exactly what's going on. 60 Hertz plugged in. We're actually pushing power over and across, charging everything. Life's good. We're at 72% charge. We have our Milwaukee heat gun here. This should be about 700 watts on low. Let's just kick this guy on, watch our voltage. So we did get a drop to 116, getting this about 600 watts, oh, 726 watts out. We're still putting 600 watts in. Sorry, I read that wrong. This is set up and it's called its UPS state right now because it's being powered. But if we cruise up, this should be almost 1400 watts if we go all in. One thing I'm not seeing here is a full 1400 watts, but it is telling us that uh, we're gonna be draining this system now in 66 to 74 hours the way we're going. 116 volts, let's check this out. Let's unplug, see what happens. Nice, the voltage actually goes up. You could hear the heat gun go up and our watts went up for output. It's a little weird that uh, we're getting less when we're unplugged, but, or more, uh, but at the same point, we're not charging, having a lot of power go through and losing things. It's nice to see this. I like to see 120 volts while I'm using it. And since it's rated at 1200 watts, we're holding a solid 1400 without issue, which is nice but also scares me a little bit because this is a little bit of a pre-production unit. So why aren't we kicking things out and saying, hey, that's over wattage? So to spice this up a little bit, I wanna plug in a six amp charger. This is something that's gonna be in our trailer constantly, it takes 200 watts, not a big deal. But I want to kick our heater on full. That should be 1600 watts, let's unplug. So now we're running a total of 1500 watts. We're keeping great voltage, which is wonderful. Hertz is still good. Everything's great. Again, this unit's rated for 1200. How long are we gonna keep pushing? Guess we gotta add a little bit more to it. We have our quiet DeWalt back back here. Let's kick that guy on. 
right up to 1,000 watts. So that allows us with the battery charger in the back to be there. Let's just kick this up to medium. 1700 and we trip right away. That's a good feeling to me. So beyond the four AC outputs in the back and the parallel in the front, we also have two USB-C outputs and two USB-A outputs. The USB-C outputs are 100 watts. The USB-A outputs are 18. We just push that button and we're on and rocking and rolling. We also have 12 volt, 10 amp outputs here. We can turn them on. We ran a cooler off this for a very, very long time. And that's something that this is gonna run in our trailer. Really awesome. We also tested this out outside. We wanted to make sure that we could put our solar panel up with it and also power AC on the back, which it had absolutely no issue with. And that's something we can just keep things running in our trailer. This does have an included MPPT, so it's going to solar charge, turn itself on and off as needed. That is awesome. On the top of it, we also have a wireless charger, so we can put our phone up there and it will automatically start charging. That is something that is great for us in the trailer too, because if we're out moving around, we want to charge our phone, we just set it on top, less cords. Underneath here, we have the solar input, we have a full reset button, and then we have the supercharger here, which just simply is a cord that plugs directly into your AC outlet, so you don't have a lot of other items or other adapters hanging out with you. Some of the items that really get me excited about this Captain 1200 is the voltage output. I have very similar output to grid output, and I like to have all my stuff running on, obviously, a pure sine wave that's going to give me pretty close to the same output as what I'd have when I'm plugged in. Now, I am getting a little bit less of uh, actual fan speed while I'm running this uh, Milwaukee heater, and it's something that I see every time we plug something into a portable power supply with this fan. Uh, at the same point in time, I think it's normal. What scares me is that we can run a lot of watts through this over top of what it's rated for, and it's holding it at 1400. But this one has a lot of cool things. The screen on the front is easy to read outside in the shade. It's a little harder in the sun, but not that much. It's harder to get on camera and show you how well it is. With that said, the, the the charging on the top is there. Everything here seems to be set up right and it's got some good power. I like that. I hope you do too. I'd like to hear your comments on this guy below. Leave them there. Give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.